In this video, we'll discuss inheritance of blood groups. You know, in human beings, we have four types of blood groups. Blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB and blood group O. These four types of blood groups are controlled by three alleles now you will say that for every character there is a pair of um, genes but in human beings also for blood groups there will be a pair only but in the whole population three types of um, genes or allele are controlling this character means in one individual there will be only two for example a blood group will have these this type of allelic combination whereas another combination possible is either one gene is this type and the other is this type this allelic combination also gives a type of blood why because a type of people a type of blood group people they have this gene which produces a kind of protein say a protein okay so this gene controls that protein now similarly b type of people will have this allelic pair or this combination this allelic combination okay and a b type have both these dominant genes a type producing and b protein producing uh, allelic combination so this phenomena is called co dominance so co dominance is the phenomena where two dominant genes contribute to the phenotype in the individual clear two dominant genes contribute to the phenotype this phenomena is called co dominance human blood group ab is the example so if you are asked take the exam explain co dominance you give the example of blood group ab and those who have o blood group they have only recessive genes means they do not have either a or b type of protein producing allelic combination okay they don't have any so they have uh, recessive you can say okay this type of pheno this phenomena where more than two allele in the population contribute a uh, control a character that is called multiple allelism so multiple allelism is the phenomena explained with the help of human blood groups three types of alleles in the population control a character in one individual again i tell you will have only allelic combination with two one pair okay now uh, during blood transfusion what happens a person can donate blood to a can donate to b no a persons blood group a persons will have a type of protein so b type of protein will be rejected in their body so they will have they can a transfusion of only a type of blood can be given to this uh, person similarly with b ab persons they have both the types of protein they are familiar with the, both the the body is familiar with the both the types of protein so they can uh, the the blood can be transfusion can be there with a b a b it can be there o now they don't have either a type of protein or b type of protein so they will reject any of these type of blood they will get only from o so can get from a can get from a a can get from o b can get from b can get from o a b can get from all o can get from none can donate to let's see can donate to a kisko donate kar sakta hai 
A can donate to A. A can donate to O. Can donate to no. A cannot donate to O. A can donate to A. A can donate to A B. Okay. A B and A. Similarly, B can donate to B and A B. A B can donate to A B only. A B can donate to A B only because किसी और को दिया तो reject हो जाएगा. Same is the case with O. O can get donate to all. O can donate to all because blood group O people they do not have any antigen, so they can donate to all, which will which will not rejected by the body. Clear? Now we'll discuss some problems or questions which are asked in the exam regarding these blood groups. Very interesting question. There is Mr. X and Mrs. X. Mr. and Mrs. X and Mr. and Mrs. Y. They have a dispute in the court regarding the ownership of a child. Means there is a child whose blood group is O. Mr. and Mrs. X कह रहे हैं कि उनका है Mr. Mrs. X. And Mr. Miss, ये कह रहे हैं, the child is there. The child blood group is, blood group is O. Now, in the exam, you will be asked to explain कि whose child is this. Now, uh, the blood group of Mr. X is A, blood group of Mrs. X is B, blood group of Mr. Y is AB and A. Now you will explain with the help of a cross. If the blood group of Mr. X is A and the child has O, he must have this combination. Means this one gamete should have this combination. If this gamete fertilizes, this will be the result. So if they have this blood group, they can have the child can be theirs whereas in this case if this is the blood group of this person and this so the child o combination possibly there is no possibility of uh, this uh, recessive gene so child is not theirs clear another thing which is asked is what other combination of uh, alleles or allele combinations are possible in the future children of this couple. So they can have this or this type of gametes. If this gamete fertilizes this, the child will have A blood group. If this fertilizes, <coughs> sorry. If this fertilizes this, this will be the combination. Okay. So if this fertilizes this, this. In the future, children of this couple, all four blood groups, all four blood groups are possible. So, I hope you understood the inheritance of blood groups. Thank you.